energy. It's all around us in different forms. Light, heat, sound, gravity, or even electricity. It can be produced different ways too. For example, by burning fossil fuels, striking photovoltaic cells with light, or even splitting atoms. However, all of these methods have their downsides. Fossil fuels cause pollution, solar panels only work during the day, and radioactive waste is, well, radioactive. Yet the sun seems to have an unlimited supply of energy. It has been burning for billions of years, and will still be burning for billions more. But where does the sun get its energy from? The answer is simple, nuclear fusion. Fusion is when you combine two small particles together like hydrogen. These two particles create a helium atom and a neutron, which have a lower total mass than the ingredients. Hence, it releases that mass as energy in the reaction. But why is it so hard to do? It's because of the Coulomb force. When you get two positive charges close enough together, all they would do is repel. What we need is to get these nuclei close enough together for them to touch and have the strong force take over. It's an attractive force that is stronger than the electric propulsion. This can only happen when you get these particles in a sort of soup made of plasma that's hot enough so that every once in a while, two nuclei are heading towards each other with enough force that before they repel, the strong force takes over and creates a new atom. But for this reaction, we can't use regular hydrogen. What we need are specific isotopes called deuterium and tritium. To find out how much energy is produced by this reaction, we need to use Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, where E is the energy produced, m is the difference of mass between the products and the reagents, and c is the speed of light. For example, the energy produced by the fusion of the deuterium found in 1 liter of seawater would be as much as the energy produced by burning 800 liters of gasoline. So now you know how fusion works and how to calculate the energy produced from it. But there's still one question. Why are we not using it? Well, the answer is that we simply do not know if a fusion power plant would work. And if it does, it might be too expensive to build one. But when the possibility is unlimited clean energy for everyone, it might be worth the risk.